In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can secure and simplify the management of hybrid Active Directory, hybrid Exchange, or hybrid Office 365. We consider that one thing, uh, but you'll hear different terms uh, used in various marketing literature, so we wanted to make sure you understand we cover it all. Uh, to begin with, I've already logged into the Chaosoft Administrator web portal, and on the left-hand side, I see all of the items that I've been delegated permissions uh, to access. So I'm going to start off with Active Directory on-premise, and I'm going to go down and just simply click Users, and I'll do a quick search here uh, to see what users I have available. And you'll see these are the typical users you would get if, for example, you ran a PowerShell command or some uh, use some other uh, tool to go out and get a list of users. Uh, if I drill down and pick a specific user, we use ANR searching, so it's very, very fast. I can select that user, and then I have all the commands, the individual commands that I've been delegated through a role. Now, a role in Chaosoft is a little bit different than, for example, uh, exchange roles or uh, roles that you see in Office 365 because they can encompass or include any feature uh, or any set of objects from any platform that can be managed through Chaosoft. So here you'll see as soon as I select this user, I have some, some quick actions. I can reset the password, unlock the account, which is pretty typical things you would do in a help desk scenario. I can add that user to a group. If I have a ticket, a help desk ticket I'm trying to fulfill and I know the name of the group, I can pop it in there or search for it. And then I also see that this user is an Office 365 user. I see the appropriate items that that person's using. Uh, so I know that they're a pretty heavy user of Exchange, Yammer, and Pro Plus. They're not really using Teams, Skype, or SharePoint at this point. And I see some costing information. If I wanted to, for example, see this user's uh, mailbox details, I just simply click Mailbox. I don't have to know that this is an on-premise user or a cloud user. It just figures that out automatically for me. And here it's popped up. And I see that this Albert Einstein uh, um, user is actually a remote mailbox. And I see the email addresses that have been assigned. And I can go off here and look to see where the mailbox is located, what features are on and off, et cetera. Now, all of these can be delegated. So I don't necessarily have to give uh, the person performing these tasks any of these features, or I can make them read only. Okay. Uh, so for example, I can come out and grant uh, security permissions on these resources, put delivery restrictions on without uh, having to exactly know where that mailbox is. All right, so let's create a new user. So I'm going to create a brand new user, and it automatically uh, chooses a location. Uh, I'll come out here and we'll choose the users OU. I just type it in and do a quick search so I don't have to fumble around through a directory tree. We'll call this Joey Smith. You'll see that all of the other additional items that need to be populated are done automatically through a policy. I can then choose uh, on-premise or remote. Uh, and if I choose remote, we know it's office, so we're going to give him a license option. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click license options, and I'll come up here and we'll give him an E3. These are completely configurable, so I can turn off the licenses. I don't want my admin seeing if I'm hybrid. Go ahead and click next. Some additional detail, how I want to set things up in terms of account setup. Next, I can fill in job title, or I can actually place these as, as uh, you know, I can either type in strings or I can actually have drop downs, for example. I'll say next. And here I have some custom ones that are attributes that don't exist. They're called virtual attributes. And you'll see that this is a normal account and they have access to certain uh, applications. Again, these are not in Azure AD or in Active Directory. These are uh, what we call virtual attributes. I'll click create. And in the background, this user uh, will now be created. I can go on and continue other tasks. So for example, if I have a request from Albert to reset his password, I can click the reset pass or generate a new password button, maybe need to unlock the account. I can submit that and now I've done that other task. Eventually, I will get a note at the top right for the activities uh, telling me that they've been completed. So as soon as that new user operation is completed, the mailbox is configured, I'll get a note telling me it's done and ready for use. Thank you for watching.